Is your Roku stuck in an endless reboot loop, turning your streaming type into a nightmare? Don't worry, we have got the fix. Stay tuned and let's get your Roku back up and running in no time. Hey everyone, welcome back to Silicophilic, your go-to source for tech tips and fixes. If your Roku keeps restarting over and over, you are not alone. This is a common issue, but luckily, there are a few fixes. In this video, we will walk you through the top solution to stop the reboot cycle and get you back to streaming your favorite shows without interruption. Let's dive in. Method 1. Check the power supply. If your Roku is stuck in a reboot loop, the first thing to check is the power supply. Make sure your Roku is getting enough power by using the power adapter that came with the device. If you are using a power strip, try plugging it directly into a wall outlet instead. And if you are powering it through a TV USB port, consider switching to a different USB port or, better yet, using a wall adapter. This simple step can often solve the problem and get your Roku up and running again. Manually reboot your Roku. If Roku is still stuck in the frustrating reboot loop, then it must be crying out for a little rest. So here is a simple and quick fix that might just do the trick. Unplug the power cord from your Roku device, let it rest for a solid 10 seconds. During this time, your Roku can reset and regain its energy. After those 10 seconds, it's time to wake it up. Just plug the power cord back in and watch as your Roku springs back to life, refreshed and ready to stream your favorite shows without a hitch. Give it a try and your Roku should be running without issues. Method 2. Check HDMI cables. Next, make sure the HDMI cables connecting Roku are smug and secure. Take a moment to double check that both ends are firmly plugged in, one into your Roku and the other into your TV or monitor. Sometimes they get a bit loose without us even noticing. Also, check the condition of the cables. Over time, wear and tear can lead to issues. Inspect your HDMI cables for any visible damage, like fraying or bending. If you spot any issues, it might be time to swap them out for a new one. If you have a spare HDMI cable lying around, give it a try. Sometimes a fresh cable can make all the difference. Just unplug the old one and connect the new one in its place. You would be surprised how often the simple step can solve your streaming woes. Method 3. Change the port. If your TV or PC has multiple HDMI ports, try connecting your Roku to a different one. This can help identify if the issue is with the specific HDMI input. Sometimes, individual HDMI ports can have problems like loose connections or electrical issues. By switching ports, you can determine if the problem persists or if the device works fine with another input. Method 4. Ensure good Wi-Fi signal strength When your Roku device keeps rebooting, it might be due to weak Wi-Fi signals that struggle to maintain a strong connection over distance or through walls, furniture, or other obstacles. If your router is far from your Roku, this can cause dropped connections. To fix this, try moving your router closer to your Roku. Ideally, keep them within 10 to feet, 10 feet for the best signal strength. If moving the router isn't an option, reposition it to a more central location or elevate it to a higher spot, like a shelf or table, to improve signal efficiency. Also, avoid placing your router near devices that cause interference such as microwaves, cordless phones or baby monitors as these can disrupt your Wi-Fi signal. Method 5. Cool down the device Roku can also reboot due to overheating issues. Unplug the device and let it cool down for about 10 to 15 minutes in a well-ventilated area away from heat sources. Ensure it has a good airflow and isn't covered or obstructed. Clean any dust from the device and avoid placing it near items like windows or other electronics that produce heat. Once it's cooled down, plug it back in and see if the issue is resolved. Proper cooling can prevent overheating and ensure smooth performance. Method 6. Factory Reset As a last resort, you can perform a factory reset. This will erase all settings and data on your Roku device, so make sure to take backup of any important information. To do this, locate the reset button on your Roku device. It's usually a small pinhole button on the back or bottom of the device. With the device powered on, press and hold the reset button using a paper clip or a similar tool. Hold the button for at least 20 seconds. Release the button and the device should restart and return to its factory settings. This method will clear any cached data or settings that might be causing the rebooting issue. Give it a try and see if it helps resolve the problem. Method 7. Contact Roku Support if the methods shown in this video could not resolve the issue, you may need to contact Roku support for further assistance. They can help diagnose more complex hardware or software problems. And that's it. Hopefully, one of these solutions worked for you and your Roku is back to normal. If this video helped, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more tech tip fixes and guides, and drop a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and happy streaming.